In between magnets, there are 1,695 interconnections. That's the exact number. In between, we have 10,200 splices, high current splices, and ab about 30% of them have been redone, but all of them have been consolidated with a shunt and with an improved insulation system. This is essentially an interconnect, which is the, uh, the place where two magnets are, are joined uh, one with the other one. What you see here, this is a, a, a splice, a junction between uh, two bus bars uh, of nearby magnets, and this is right the part that we have to consolidate. Loire et Technique, there were two things to bien regarder, it was the maintenance, the maintenance of all the equipment, as well as the LHC and all the injectors, and also preparing the LHC to increase the energy parce que l'énergie au centre de masse était de 8 téra et 3 volts en 2012 et on, on veut pas passer maintenant à 13 téra et 3 volts. It was decided to install extra protection, the so-called SRV safety relief valves, uh, which in case of the overpressure of helium, uh, let the gas to release to the tunnel without destroying the inside part of the, of the interconnection and magnet. We organized a schedule in three shifts. The morning and afternoon shifts were dedicated to work and uh, electrical tests, while night shift was dedicated to transport of material. You have to consider that we are in a very narrow tunnel. This means that everything has to be parked very well. For instance, as there is three kilometers from one access point to another, people were using bikes and we had also to organize the parking of this bike. Another point which is important is that it's an underground machine. Uh, the deeper point is at 100 meters. Uh, the lift of the um, uh, LHC machine went up and down more than 400,000 times, which is a lot. And you have also to organize the maintenance of this very critical equipment because this is a way of access. You can't avoid it. As we, we will have more collision uh, with RUN2, also what will happen is that there will be more radiation going to the electronics. And some electronics were not really tolerant to radiation. So there have been a huge effort during LS1 or to relocate or to install radiation tolerant electronics in the LHC. The LHC is divided in eight sectors. Every sector is about three kilometers. All along these three kilometers, the temperature difference, maximum temperature difference is 0.1 degree, so very homogeneous temperature. And for this, we have very big refrigerators located around the 27 kilometer of the LHC. protons, ils circulent dans une chambre à vide pour ne pas avoir de collision avec le, 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 le gaz résiduel. On veut que, vraiment que les protons ne se rencontrent qu'au centre des, 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 des détecteurs, proton, proton. Donc le vide doit être excellent. On a un vide qui est meilleur que le vide entre la Terre et la Lune. On est pense avoir des collisions fin mai, euh, début juin, où la physique commencera à 13 Tera et 3 volts. Et là, les physiciens sont euh, vraiment en attente de ces nouvelles collisions, puisque c'est des collisions qui n'ont jamais été produites en laboratoire et qui ouvrent une nouvelle euh, ère de la physique, un nouveau terrain incognita de la physique.